in New Zealand. And all of our clinics are equipped with intraoral scanners and CAD CAM dentistry. We strongly believe that going digital will completely change your practice and make dentistry much more enjoyable for both you and your patients. And that's why we've invested so much in this technology. So we're also very passionate about teaching dentists everything we've learned over the years and run the Institute of Digital Dentistry, which hosts hands-on courses in our clinic and online through our website. So we got into CAD CAM very early on, over 10 years ago, and we are what you would call early adopters of this technology. Things were very different for us back then compared to now, but we had similar fears that many of you may share when you're thinking about investing into digital dentistry. These fears are all the common concerns that everyone asks themselves, such as, is it going to be a good return on investment? Is it hard to learn? Can I do it? Is it worth it? You know, you question if these scanners are accurate. You ask yourself, you're doing everything properly now, so why change? When we got into it very early on, it was quite hard for us back then because few people in New Zealand even had a scanner to begin with. But the things we didn't know back then and what we've learned over the years is all the advantages of scanners and CAD CAM. And this has changed dentistry completely for us. So people are often worried about learning scanners and the good news is these days scanners are much easier to use. This is just a simple scan that I took using the Medit i500. And as you can see, it's a fast and simple process. It really is a no brainer anymore. A full arch scan can easily be completed within a minute or two. So compare that to three to five minutes of PVS impressions, which dentists don't like to do and patients don't like it even more. So there's huge benefits here for both you and your patients, not just in terms of impression cross, but also patient comfort and communication. So over the past 10 years, we've continued to invest a lot in CAD CAM, as this picture shows. This is a picture of our practice, and we are fortunate to own and use almost every mainstream scanner, including Trios, Serac, Planmeca, Medit, and we also get scanners sent by companies for us to review. We are one of the few in the world who has direct access to all this technology in their clinic. So we have in-depth experience with all mainstream scanners currently on the market, and also CAD CAM software, as we do over 90% of our prosthodontic work in-house. The best part is we purchase all this technology by ourselves without sponsorship. This means I'm not tied with any company, so it allows me to give my opinions based on clinical use and without bias. I, really, I realized early on that there's clear advantages and disadvantages of each product. And this information you're never gonna get from a sales rep or a KOL. So that's enough about me. Let's get into the topics for today. Firstly, I'll briefly go over some things you should consider before investing in a scanner. Next, we'll review some of the major scanners on the market. I'll then summarize this webinar with the pros and cons of the Medit i500. And at the end, we'll have some time for some questions. So to start, what should you consider before investing? As I've mentioned these days, you have a lot of options on the market. When we first started getting to scanners, there was two options. Now there's easily over 10, 15 scanners and the price keeps dropping and dropping. So how do you choose a scanner? And that can be a, a daunting question at first, partly due to the sheer amount of choice you have and the conflicting information you can get from each sales rep. What are some good questions to ask yourself before you invest? Well, in my opinion, a good start would be to consider your budget, the procedures you focus on, and if you're considering CAD CAM. And let me elaborate on that further. You need to consider your budget for a start, especially in these times. A scanner can range between 18,000 to 70,000 USD. And many scanners also come with ongoing fees. This is in the form of scanner heads, updates, servicing, and subscription costs. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself in, into because many companies claim they may not have a subscription, but they call it something different like a, a membership or a club. Secondly, what do you want a scanner for? And what I mean by this is, do you want to carry out in-house workflows or do you just want an impression replacement? And that's a really key question because if you just want an impression replacement, it doesn't make a lot of sense to invest a lot of money as most scanners will do the job. The other thing is what procedures do you focus on? And the obvious topic is Invisalign. I know some practices are completely built around Invisalign. And are you aware that Invisalign doesn't accept 
you know, scans from the newest scanners released, including the Medit. So this is a question I get asked a lot. If you're an Invisalign dentist, are you open to changing to other aligner brands that are more open? Lastly, this is an important factor that's often overlooked, and that's the support availability. This is crucial, especially for beginners, because without good support, you will likely find it frustrating, and ultimately your investment will sit in the corner collecting dust. So what support exists for you? I like to think about the future and upskilling, especially in regards to CAD CAM. Are you open to the idea of carrying out milling in-house? I appreciate the majority of the market and I appreciate the majority of the market are users who just want a scanner to replace impression material. But I think really that's just the tip of the iceberg. Before we got into scanning and, and CAD CAM, we sent all our crown and bridge work to the lab. Over the years, we now do 90% of our lab work in-house, including basic restorations, crown and bridge, small design, rehabs, implants. Everything you see in here, we've done in-house. And so CAD CAM restorations can be aesthetic, perfect fitting, and easier than you may think. And this is all possible these days and can save you thousands of dollars per week in lab fees. Here's another example completely done in-house from small design to fabrication of the small makeover. So digital dentistry has the potential to change how your practice is and make it more enjoyable for both you and your patients. So I'll leave those questions to ask yourself. So let's move on and really get into the, the meat of the webinar and that's the scanner reviews. Like I keep saying, there's a lot of scanners on the market. And in this limited time, I'll go over some of the main players on the market right now. And this includes the Serac Prime Scan, the Trios 4, the Element 5D, and the Medit i500. And obviously, this is a huge topic to go through in detail. So I will summarize a lot of this information for you. For those who want more details, check out our website as we have reviewed all these scanners in detail, including our popular IDS scanner review, which has, viewed, has been viewed over 70,000 times to date. So this is a summary of, our scan, of the scanner reviews from IDS and covers some of the scanners we don't have time to go over today. So with that out of the way, let's get into the reviews. Let's start with the CEREC Prime Scan. Um, this is Densupply Serona's latest scanner and it was released in 2019. And it is one of the most popular scanners on the market. Look, CEREC is one of the oldest players in this market and they go far back as 1985. So they have a lot of experience in this field. The CEREC Prime Scan is a premium product with a premium price tag. The scanner is the most expensive on the market, around 70 to 75,000 USD with the CAD software and about half the cost for scanner only. You do get what you pay for and the Prime Scan is a good scanner. There's a lot of technology in this machine and it's accurate. The CEREC's main advantage, however, is the same day workflow. This is what makes the CEREC system stand out. You know, with their mill, with their design software, it's arguably the best. And one of the main reasons is not really to do with the scanner itself, because the, lot, the other generation, OmniCam, did well too, but it's the amazing milling machine and software that's very refined and works seamlessly. We've been using the CEREC system for many years in our practice, and the same day workflow is a flagship feature. You know, a patient can walk in and walk out with a crown in about an hour or two, depending on the material. The main take home message is CEREC is one of the few companies that makes a scanner and a milling machine. And the only other one to do this is PlanMecca. So for all the other scanners you invest in, if you want to carry out CAD CAM, you rely on third party milling machines and third party software in some cases. And it's not usually as seam seamless as a CEREC. However, what are the downsides? Well, it's expensive. It's the most expensive scanner on the market right now. And for those who have no interest in doing same day workflows, it doesn't make that much sense to me. And really that's the majority of the market right now. If you're just scanning to send to a lab, there's much cheaper alternatives that will do the job perfectly. Most dentists right now don't wanna get into CAD CAM. They want to scan and send. The CEREC scanner also has a practically essential yearly subscription called the CEREC Club. You can opt out for this, but it's generally not recommended. Um, you know, you'll stop getting software updates for free if you do so, and many other downsides of opting out for that. It's also a very large and heavy scanner. It's one of the heaviest on the market. Look, it's not the biggest downside, but you do notice it 
especially when using something much lighter like the medic. This is clearly seen in this picture that I took in our clinic. So from left to right, you have the prime scan, the TRIOS-4, the MEDIT, and then Plamica Emerald. And there's, there's, there's a clear size and also weight difference here. Lastly, the prime scan itself doesn't offer too much more than just scanning. Um, and what I mean by that, you know, in other premium scanners we will go over, there's orthodontic simulation, there's, there's patient monitoring, caries detection, and these features are not seen here. It's a good scanner with a good software and a milling machine. And its main target audience is evidently those who want to carry out same day restorations. But it comes at a price. Next up is the TRIOS 4. And this is another premium scanner released by 3Shape. The TRIOS 4 ranges from around 34,000 to 50,000 USD, depending on the configuration of what you buy. And what I mean by that is you can either get it as a USB scanner or the TRIOS Move cart. It's another fast and easy to use scanner. It's a lot lighter than the Prime Scan, and it's the only wireless scanner on the market, which is a unique feature. It offers a range of different unique features as well, such as caries detection, small design, orthodontic simulations, all built in. The main factor that makes the three shape system stand out, however, is the software ecosystem. They have a very comprehensive CAD ecosystem, and it does it all. Indirect restorations, implant guides, aligners, orthodontic bracket guides, night guides, and splints. And we've been using it for many years in our practice. No other scanner software offers this range all in the software. You know, usually the only other common way of doing this is third-party software like Exocad. So what's the main downsides? Well, like always, it's cost and subscriptions. Like I mentioned, the TRIOS 4 ranges from about 37 to 50,000 USD which makes it one of the more expensive scanners on the market and much more expensive than the Medit i500. The other thing, however, is the, the subscriptions, and this is the main issue. There's a yearly subscription fee for the scanner, and you, you can't use the scanner at all if you stop the subscription, which is a few thousand per year. Unlike other scanners, which allow some use if you stop it, but it's usually a handicapped sort of uh, use and features are stripped off, with the TRIOS, if you don't pay, you are completely locked out. And if you opt for those software modules that I explained were a great feature of the TRIOS, there's more subscriptions tied to them. So we own most of the modules available, and the yearly fees really start to add up. On one hand, subscriptions give you access to all the software updates. But on the other hand, from my discussions with dentists globally, people are starting to get annoyed for having to keep paying yearly fees to just use the technology they paid for. The last downside is not really a fault of the scanner per se, but just open systems in general. And this applies to all scanners. Look, there's no three-shape milling machine. So to carry out CAD CAM in-house, you have to invest in a third-party milling, which just generally can cause some issues, and it's just not as seamless as a closed CEREC system. That's not to say it's, it can't be done, but often I find the mill is the weakest link in the seamless workflow. So overall, another good scanner, a good software, it's the, the catch is the cost and the subscription fees. Next up is the iTera Element 5D. And look, iTera have been known for the longest time as the Invisalign scanners. Many of you already know that Align Technology, who own iTera, also own Invisalign. It's another high-end scanner with a high-end price tag at around 40,000 USD. And it comes in two options like the TRIOS, a scanner, that's USB, or a cart. Now, the iTera Element 5D has some unique features like the infrared uh, or the near-infrared caries detection, which is one of the best caries detection feature in any scanner. The main factor, however, that you know, distinguishes these scanners is Invisalign. These are the Invisalign scanners. Apart from the older Seric Omnicam and the TRIOS 3 in some regions, no other scanner is accepted by Invisalign. And this is a question I almost get asked every week. So you can't send your Medit scans to Invisalign. They've locked everyone out. This is an example of the ClinCheck simulations with the iTera software. Uh, you can scan a patient and the software will create an orthodontic simulation. It is a powerful communication tool. And it's great for those who are interested in orthodontics and especially if patients show any interest in aligners. And so this sort of orthodontic simulation and automatic segmentation for now is only found in iTero and TRIOS. And the iTero version is arguably better. 
because they've been doing this for some time. What's the downsides of this one? Well, to start, it's huge. You know, let's get the obvious out of the way. Uh, it's a large and heavy scanner, easily the largest on the market, and it weighs close to 500 grams. So as you can see here, the Element 5D is on the left, then the Medit, the Trios 3, Planmeca Emerald, and the older generation Cerec Omnicam. And these are all scanners that we've had in the clinic. And you can clearly see the Element 5D is bigger than the rest. The only thing that comes close to the scanner in size is the Prime Scan. Now, I'll be honest, look, I don't really care if a scanner is big. What I mind is how easy it is to scan with. And the issue I find with the iTerra Element 5D is the design of the scanning head. And also, it's quite a large scanning head. And this can make it a little more tricky to catch tight to reach areas. The scanner is also expensive. At around 40,000 USD, it's a sizable investment for just a scanner with no CAD software doesn't have any CAD software in built like the Trios or the, or the CEREC. It does have, however, a direct integration with ExaCAD. Now, on top of the cost, it also has an ex expensive subscription model. Um, and that will cost you a few thousand per year. And you can get it cheaper, but it's tied with a contract of selling a certain amount in, of Invisalign cases per year. Lastly, I just find it's in my hands, it's just not as fast as some of the competition, especially for its price. You know, the size of the scanner makes it harder to carry out scanning fast, especially when compared to something like a, a Trios 4 or a Prime Scan. Look, overall, it's a capable scanner, and it's almost a no-brainer for any Invisalign dentist. But again, the cost and subscriptions for someone who has no interest in Invisalign and for someone who has no interest in CAD CAM, it's, it's much more harder to make sense of this one. So lastly, let's go over the Medit i500. And look, as you know, it's a scanner that's made waves in the industry. Um, it's a very inexpensive option to get into scanning. It was released around two years ago at, and priced at 18,000 USD. And this makes it easily one of the most cost-effective options on the entire market. We got ours, uh, we purchased ours in um, February last year. So we've had it for almost, you know, almost two years, just over a year and a half. Now, unlike all the other scanners, it has no subscription cost tied with the scanner itself, but it does have a cloud storage for files and above a certain free limit of 10 gigabytes, you can opt for a, a subscription to use more than that. Although it's cheap, it is a good scanner and it's quite impressive given the price point. It's purely just a scanner, however. There's no CAD software with it. Now, I think we need to address the elephant in the room, guys. So I'm reviewing the Medit scanner on the Medit webinar with the Medit team watching. Um, so obviously you'd think I'm gonna say all good things. But the funny thing is, what I'll share with you today about the scanner, I've said over and over across the years. And I've also mentioned it in other webinars. Look, this is really a good scanner. It may not be for everyone, but it's hard to argue at that price point. In fact, I personally reviewed the Meta i500 back in March 2019, over a year ago. And this is our review summary back then. And you can see the original publication on our website. It's quite a good scanner. And if anything, it's only gotten better since. Um, there, are some changes, there are some changes from this point. And the Meta team, um, at that stage when I reviewed it, had no form of subscription at all. And now they did introduce one for their cloud storage above a 10 gigabyte limit. There's still no subscription fee for this scanner, however. It is free to use and it's still a one-time purchase. I hope it stays that way. There have also been massive improvements to the software over the years. The Meta team also announced things like new scanning tips. And this announcement was done just a few days ago. Previously, the tips could be only autoclaved around 20 times, and this was a factor that many users, including us, commented, and I commented about it in our review, as it's much less than other scanners. So this has now been increased to 50 autoclave cycles with the new tips, and the best part is the new tips are the same cost. So it's things like this that make the company feel very customer-centric. They seem to directly listen to dentists who use their product. We've used the Meta for a lot of cases and a huge range over the year, a year and a half. And there's not much else to say. I've, I've always mentioned that this is a good scanner and it really punches above its weight for its price point. It's also impressive because it's much cheaper than some premium products on the market and still scans well. Remember, it's more than half the cost of some others that we discussed. 
The main drawbacks of the Medit i500 is that it has no associated CAD CAM element. So there's no CAD CAM software and there's no milling machine. And I'm personally a big believer that just buying a scanner to replace impressions is not hugely beneficial. The main advantages of digital dentistry comes with CAD CAM and in-house workflows for dentists. However, I'm aware that most of the market you know, doesn't demand this. And for the vast majority of people, they will not carry out in-house dentistry. Overall, the scanner software is great, but it doesn't do some other things that more premium scanners do, like orthodontic simulation, smile design, caries detection. However, what I'm hearing from the Medit team is that features like orthodontic simulation and smile design are going to be released soon, and that's great to hear. It's also a fast scanner, but it's not the fastest, especially when compared to more expensive scanners like the Cerec Prime Scan. Look, and it, it's not to say it's, you know, the, the speed, how much speed do you need comes down to the, you know, at the end of the day, if you can do a full art scan within a minute, it's really still quite an effective scanner to use. The other thing is it's not accepted by Invisalign. So you may need to look at other clear aligner options if you're an Invisalign dentist. Overall, it's just a solid choice with an affordable price tag. So on the topic of scanners, I think a testament to how good the Meta i500 is, is the fact that it's always compared to Trios, Prime Scanner, and iTerra. And I think that's quite an achievement in itself. Look, these companies have had multiple generations of scanners and improvements, while the Meta i500 is a very new product. Also, the Meta i500 is much cheaper than these scanners. If you wanted to make a fair comparison based on price, you would compare the Meta to these scanners instead because these are more similar to its price point. And I can tell you, I've tested most of these scanners here, and it's hard to beat what the Medit have put together at that price point. So that's basically it for the reviews. In this limited time, I tried to give you as much information as possible about the scanners, and hopefully you have a better idea of the options out there. Again, if you want more information, check out our website at instituteofdigitaldentistry.com. For the last part of the webinar, I'll summarize the pros and cons of the Meta i500. And so let's start about the weaknesses because there's not that many. As I keep mentioning, I'm a big believer in the same day workflow. And this is what we've built our practices around and where I see the true advantages of digital dentistry. There are countless benefits of carrying out de dentistry in-house. Efficiency, convenience, it's where you find true return on investment by cutting your lab bill and saving thousands. The patient experience is improved and patients are amazed by watching their crowns you know, made in front of their eyes. It also gives you complete control over the entire process. With the Meta i500, it's not really the fault of the scanner itself, but most open scanners rely on third-party milling machines, and the process is just not as seamless as a closed system. It's not to say it doesn't work, it just can feel a bit more piecemeal, as you have to put the parts together and make sure everything works. The other interesting factor is the reliance on ExaCAD. So Meta i500 don't have any CAD software like Trios or Cerec. So the vast majority of users use in that do in-house workflows with the Meta use ExaCAD to design their restorations and prosthetics. That means if you want to learn how to do in-house crowns, you're going to need to learn how to use ExaCAD too, which I find is generally a lot less user-friendly than these other software. However, it is extremely powerful and it's an amazing software that we also use for our bigger cases. It's just not the easiest to use. And if you don't like ExaCAD, well, you don't really have that many options. You can use it with the lab software of other, you know, with like Cerec InLab or the Trios software, but most people are using ExaCAD for a variety of reasons. The other interesting aspect of all of this is that Align recently purchased ExaCAD for 419 million. So if you remember Align, they also make the iTero scanners. And although I would highly doubt they would lock ExaCAD from all other scanners, who knows what the future holds? It's a reliance on a software owned by the competition, which makes it a bit interesting. Look, apart from that, for the user who simply, simply wants a scan and send to labs, which is the majority of people on the market right now, the Meta i500 does a lot of things well. Let's cover some of these things, and it's what I like to call SOS, or Software, Open Architecture, and Support. So let's start with the software. The Meta i500 has a very impressive software that's been updated regularly over the past year. 
it constantly gets new additions and features which are all free of charge for its users. The Meta team invests a lot of money into their software and making it the best, of, the best it can be. It also has a few unique applications that are not seen in other scanners. So I'm sure you've already seen what the software looks like. It's modern, clean, easy to navigate and use. It also has helpful tips for beginners and a huge range of tools for analyzing and manipulating your scans. The scans it produces are high definition, it has a realistic aesthetic, and I think by now most of us appreciate that it's a capable scanner. It has a thriving community that shares cases on the Medit Facebook group, and clinically many users across the world have proven how capable the scanner is, with very complicated workflows and cases carried out successfully. And this is just a recent case that I saw posted on the group. Now, it's not all about the complicated stuff, however. The scanner software also has some neat features that are just nice to see. For instance, it's the options to be able to create a model base when exporting your scans, and, a, and the ability to choose the base height and wall thickness for hollow models. This saves you having time to put the, the scans in a software like Mesh Mixer, for, Mesh Mixer, for example, uh, for printing. And it's something that should be in every scanner software, in my opinion, but isn't. The, reli the reliability map is also a great feature for both beginners and experts. And this basically lets the user better understand what the scanner is seeing. You know, what is the scanner actually seeing and how good the, the data is that's being picked up. Something like this is perfect for beginners who are learning scanning and trying to understand the pace, while it's also useful for experts in more complicated cases to ensure the data is accurate. AI scan body matching is also another amazing feature and quite unique for a scanner software. Um, this feature automatically aligns a scan body from your library with the scan data so that you don't need to scan the entire shape of the scan bodies in difficult to reach areas. This basically helps you confirm if you have enough data to move on and makes these scanners, uh, makes these scanning cases a lot more easier in my opinion and more predictable because you know exactly when you have enough data. If this fails, you can also manually align the scan body with the scan data. All of this is done within the software. And this is something that's usually reserved for CAD lab software, not usually seen in a scanner. The software also gives you an impressive range of control over the scanning um, elements, such as, for instance, the smart scan filtering. Uh, and this is where you can choose to scan with no filtering on either, te on either teeth and the gums, so that the soft tissue is removed, or scan the teeth so that the least amount of gingiva is captured. Look, and for most cases, you're going to be using the scan teeth and gums filter, which is shown on the top right. And in most scanners, this is seen with AI removing any artifacts like cheeks and tongues. So a lot of scanners do this now, but it's having the control to choose how aggressive the filtering is, is quite a unique feature. And it makes the scanner quite versatile. The face scan also is quite an interesting feature. And, you know, I haven't seen this yet in any other scanner. Um, so it makes me wonder why other scanners don't do this. It enables you to scan the lips, mouth, nose, cheek, and combine these with your normal scans. Like, obviously, you're never going to scan a whole face with the Meta i500. You know, that would be ridiculous. Um, so you're never going to get a full conventional face scan. But it's just a nice, innovative feature to see. There are also many other cool features that don't have time to mention. Um, the ability to fill holes in your scan with a click of a button, marginate your preps, a range of different data cleaning tools. Um, the scanner software is truly quite impressive in the range of tools available. Remember, this is not a CAD software, and it's rare to see this many tools in a scanner on me. The other thing is the open architecture. And most scanners these days are open, and this has been a market trend for some time now. This means you can use any scanner to export STL. And Medit was one of the first to enable exporting of many different formats, such as OBJ and PLY, not just STL. And this becomes important because if you're doing CAD CAM, STL files are monochrome. So if you want a color file, you need OBJ or PLY file types. Now, exporting is one aspect, but importing is another key aspect and is a whole different story. While many scanners enable exporting, most don't enable importing into the scanner software, or, or at least not easily, especially without the lab version of the software. With the Meta, it's truly an open architecture. 
And as a small example, you can import scans from other scanners, face, uh, facial scan data, CBCT data, all in the software, and packages this up to send to your lab. It also has some nice features like being able to combine and align your scans with the CBCT data. Um, again, this is all done within the software, and it's usually seen in CAD software, not just the scanner. So it's not just open outwardly, but also inwardly, allowing all sorts of different file types to be combined in the software itself. Lastly is the topic of support. And I mentioned this at the start. And look, for new users, good support is critical to ensure that you're going to have success with your scanner and digital dentistry as a whole. And overall, over the past year and a half and more, using the Medit i500, I've found the Medit team very pleasant to deal with. Look, they have, they're very helpful and they have a good support network. And how they provide support is a number of different ways, online, email, phone, and the Facebook group. And I've personally had, ex I've, the Facebook group is, is a fantastic tool and it's an extremely valuable resource. This is becoming more and more common across the industry and here you can see some of the cases where other users have posted and learn a lot, but also directly communicate with some of the key members of the Meta team. They're very receptive to feedback and are quick to help anyone with an issue. I know Facebook is not for everyone, so it's great to see how well Meta support their users through other means. I've personally had issues with the Meta software here and there over the past year or two, and, and this is common. It happens to any scanner. And what I found is, you know, I've emailed the Meta support on their website, and within a few hours, someone has, has logged into the software through TeamViewer and helped me sort it out. So they're very eager to keep you moving. The other thing I have to mention is that I write objective reviews on all these scanners and publish them. And I often talk some negative things about each product. Um, and I've always found the Meta team to be very open and receptive to feedback. Um, rather than some other companies which are, can be quite aggressive and it really shows the culture in their team and the fact that they're appreciative of feedback to constantly involve and improve the Meta i500 to be better and better. So that's enough from me. I hope you've enjoyed this webinar and now we have some time to go over some questions. For those who want more, please check out our website. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Ahmad. That was very good information. Uh, we do we do have a few questions here. Uh, I'll try to keep it brief. Um, we had one question come through. It said, does the wireless scanner, I believe the TRIO Spore, does it drop out often while you're scanning? I hear that a lot, and that's a really funny question because I often hear from competitor sales reps say, oh, the wireless doesn't work and it drops out and all these things, and no, it d doesn't drop out. I don't think uh, a big company like Trios would uh, release a product like that if it had a critical issue. So no, it's, it's mm. fine. The only thing I would say as a critique about the wireless scanning is that the battery life isn't the longest. It's about 15 to 20, sometimes 30 minutes. Um, so, you know, there's there's a lot to, to wish for, but overall enough for a, a case and definitely no connectivity issues. Okay. So I guess uh, just one question I had, it's not necessarily connected with Medit per se, but I guess what's your advice for, let's say a 40, 50 year old, you know, dentist who's doing everything traditional, right? But, you know, now they're kind of stuck in limbo because Technology is moving, times times is moving, but you know, they're hesitant. They don't know whether they should, you know, convert to digital or just stay um doing their traditional work. So I guess what what kind of advice would you have for those people? And look, that that's a great question. And it's one of those things. I mean, it really just depends on how long you think you're gonna be in the game. Um if you're mm -hmm. thinking about doing dentistry for the next five, ten years. I really think you should jump in. And I would really think that you need to decide on how far you want to invest into this. I mean, for any of the younger guys who are doing it like me, um, it's a no-brainer. You should be getting into digital dentistry. Um, for someone who's mm -hmm. older, I think the logical step would be an affordable scanner. I mean, start with that. It's an easy way to mm -hmm. you know, dip your toes into digital dentistry, see if it's right for you. Um, save some money on impression material, change your workflow, 
uh, get all the benefits like improving comfort for your patients without having to invest a lot of money. Great. Okay. So I think um, those are really the questions for the live chat now. And I think we can wrap up this webinar, but you know, we just want to thank you on behalf of Medit for just taking your time to educate us and just really give us an unbiased opinion. I think in this industry, it's it's really hard to uh, yeah, you, you know, people don't know who to believe anymore, right? But um, I think coming from you, it's it's uh, we appreciate it a lot. So thank you so much for your time today. Uh, it's my pleasure, and, and thank you for uh, and hosting and inviting me to to be part of this. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, everyone, hope you enjoyed this webinar and this will be recorded. So I hope, uh, you know, you can view this and kind of receive this uh, valuable information. All right. Thank you and uh, have a great day, Dr. Ahmad. Thank you, everyone. See you later.